What up, everyone? It's your boy Soju from the Straight Chillin' Podcast, and today I'm going to be talking about my top five seasons of American Horror Story. I'm not yours. I never will be. I'd rather die than allow you to defile the church. Coming in at number five is Asylum. Season two takes us to a mental institute that is inspired by the real life Willowbrook Institute where patients were often neglected and abused. This season does suffer from too many subplots, particularly the sci-fi aspects which serve as the season's low points. However, there are a lot of high points here as well, such as the aspects of religion, possession, and the horrific concept of being wrongfully committed to an institute against your will. To this day, I think Asylum offers some of the best truly horrific moments in the entire American Horror Story series. And with your sweet nun, I'm about to devour the last morsel of her soul! I'm gonna tell their depraved monsters! I'll tell you who the monsters are! The people outside this tent! Number 4 is Freak Show. Season 4 takes us to Florida in the 1950s and focuses on a group of outcasts who run a carnival. Some of the lowest points of this season for me were definitely the musical pieces, which are mostly pretty rough on the ears. However, this season has some of the best looking settings and set pieces in the entire series, as well as an absolute standout villain in Twisty the Clown. Housewives, pinched with bitterness, stupefied with boredom. And you're never gonna become great women of our clan sitting around here at Hogwarts under the confused instruction of my daughter. My number three pick is Coven. Season 3 was a pretty big departure from the first two seasons of American Horror Story as it abandoned some of the darker and more horror-driven elements for more drama. Coven is set in New Orleans and focuses on a coven who is recruiting and teaching young teenage witches. This feels like one of the most divisive seasons for sure, but some of the high points for me was the setting of New Orleans, the inclusion of Marie Laveau, adding Kathy Bates to the cast, and a surprise guest appearance from Stevie Nicks. Each one of you has a unique gift, but that's not nearly enough to be a real witch. Anybody that knows anything about Camp Redwood doesn't want to be in Camp Redwood. This is the site of the worst summer camp massacre of all time. Coming in at number two is 1984. Season nine plays off the decade that provided so many classic horror films and is inspired by such films such as Friday the 13th and Sleepaway Camp. This season still suffers from too many subplots, as most seasons of the series do. However, the focus here really seems to lend itself to the American Horror Story format. I personally love the theme that is focused on in this season, as well as the bits of humor that are sprinkled throughout. Well, the patience broke out. Ooh. Mr. Jingles. There's only one solution. Scare her. Make her afraid of you. It's the only thing bullies react to. How? Finally, my number one pick is Murder House. The season that started it all, Murder House still remains the most cohesive and captivating season of the series. Focusing on a house that is haunted by its previous residents who all died there, Murder House also tackles some pretty touchy subjects such as school shootings. While this first season had the benefit of no expectations as it started the entire series, I think the genuine twists, turns, and reveals of this season were truly earned and why it still stands out so many years later. I thought you weren't afraid of anything! So there they are, my top five seasons of American Horror Story. Let me know what you think of my list as well as some of your favorite seasons in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get some weekly horror content from the Straight Chillin' Podcast. And until next time, don't forget to keep chillin'.